let, let's be real. They are do, performing double mastectomies on children, underage girls. They are doing, they're giving hormone blockers and cross-sex hormones to minors. Um, there are cases where they are chemically or literally castrating young boys, all under the name of they, all the, everything they call gender affirming care. Affirmative care. That's what it is. Mm. That's that's yeah. the euphemism, gender affirming yeah. care, mm. care for trans, medical yeah. care for trans youth, and so on. That that's what they call it, but that's that's what they're doing. I am amazed at how the elites continue to push this particular issue, and if you say the wrong thing on it, you trip over minefields, you get mm -hmm. blown up like you wouldn't believe. But I know from the research out there in Boterland, mm -hmm. if I can put it that way as a former, <clears throat> you know, um, someone involved in politics, they think this is nuts. Mm -hmm. They think it's nuts. Yes. Is it overreach? Will it start it's to overreach. produce a serious reaction? You yeah. know, come on, let's find some sensible ground again. Or do the elites have such control now they're just going to continue to ram no, it forward? It, it's already <laughs> happening. It's already happening. I mean, it's been interesting because, again, that was February 2019 when I posted that. And when I posted that, the issue was not being discussed in the way that it is now. I think people were genuinely shocked. People were... So what do we do with this? Yeah. It, firstly, it wasn't on a lot of people's radar. Yeah. I think a lot of people didn't realize how far that push and insanity had gone and was going. I think now that people are seeing what's happening with children in particular with the ideology being pushed onto them as well as the I mean this with this particular issue if you're talking about the the uh, the drugs and you're trying to like, sur doing surgeries and we right? know That's... that most of them will sort those issues out absolutely as progresses yes and they come out the other end yes absolutely so when it comes to this issue I think most people view it from a sort of adult libertarian lens of okay whether or not I understand or agree with this if we live in a free society and you're an adult and you want to take hormones or have a surgery or do this or do that, generally speaking, okay, I'm a, I might not like it, I might not agree with it, I might not understand it, but that's your life to live. But I think when you cross the line with children and what what's being pushed in schools, what's happening in the medical world and so on, and when people become awake to that and see, oh, wow, okay, this is um, this is wrong. This is crazy. This is where we're experimenting on a generation of young people, yeah. and it's when it's people's own kids. Then I think that's when you start getting the pushback. The sports issue is a big one, of course. Um, I don't think it's. I mean, that <laughs> it's insane in itself. But I think the one with children is 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 more insane and more immoral. But women are being pushed out of their own spaces, out of their own sports, and it, it's not sustainable. You're going to have pushback from conservatives, from fem feminists, from sane liberals, from centrists, anyone who's just got some degree of courage and who isn't completely ideologically captured by these ideas. People are going to increasingly push back. And so I do see that pendulum going the other way because it's all masked in this idea of compassion, right? That's how it's always masked. It's masked, masked in safety, yeah. safety language. If we use the long language, language the, yes. the children will take their own lives. There's no evidence to, to back that up at all, but that doesn't mm -hmm. seem to matter in this age. No, because they don't care about truth. Yeah. But I think ultimately one thing that always gives me hope and keeps me optimistic is I think in the long run, in the long term, I think truth always wins. If you just take the sports issue, okay? If you allow the concept that anyone who is, anyone who identifies as a woman is a woman. And if you ask the people who are either cowards or ideologically captured what a woman is, they will say a woman is anyone who identifies as a woman. They all have the same answer all across the Western world somehow, magically. Um, so it's like, okay, I mean, that's what I did in 2019. I said, okay, cool, I'm a woman. Boom, British mm -hmm. women's deadlift record holder. Oh, you know what, I'll take the bench press record too while I'm here, right? And it's like, okay, well, by your own logic, by your own logic, I'm the strongest woman in Britain now. And so either you have to accept me as that or you have to go, well, okay, maybe, maybe you're not really a woman. And some people be like, oh, well, you know, you didn't suppress your hormones. Even if I'd suppressed my hormones, you don't magically turn into a woman. If, if Anthony Joshua, the boxer, if LeBron James goes on 
East, <laughs> starts taking estrogen and suppressing his testosterone for a year or two, you, you, you think he's suddenly going to be on an equal footing? It's completely insane. It's preposterous. The it's, 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 laughable. They, it's, like, it's laughable. They're putting males in female prisons. Yeah, well, that is really... Women are getting pregnant in prison all of a sudden, and they're like, hmm, how is this happening? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is that sustainable? It's, it's, you can't hide from the truth in such, a, in such a ridiculous fashion. At some mm -hmm. point, the rubber meets the road, the chickens home, come home to roost, and people stand up and push back. And the thing that's taking long is just the fact that people lack courage. That's all it is. Well, here you are in a country where in one state in Victoria, under the name of anti-conversion laws, oh, good grief. Uh, you've probably heard this, mm -hmm. people will have told you about it, a parent could remonstrate with a 13 or 14 year old child who wanted a tattoo. No, you shouldn't have a tattoo. That's not a good idea. They're tasteless. You'll regret it later. Mm. But if you dared to suggest to a child who says, I'm not sure that I'm in the right body. Yes. If you fail to affirm as a parent, as a parent, let alone as a counselor, yeah. a doctor, whatever, mm -hmm. you can get into in appalling trouble. And the alternative government effectively says we won't touch this stuff, yes. despite the international evidence. In, yes. the, in the country you come from, in Great Britain, if mm -hmm. I can say you come from Great Britain, yes. they've closed Tavistock. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the material out of that place should tell anybody who's got half a brain and half a shred of integrity that we are visiting a disaster on our children. Yes. yes. It's, um, it's, it's hard to overstate, and I, I don't like, I love human beings. I love people. That shows. Every, good, everything yeah. I do is based on the fact that I, I genuinely love human beings and I love this life, and I want us as individuals and as societies to continually be improving. Um, but, one of, if I can give the, the greatest criticism of what is happening in the West is I think that people are, too many people are just being cowardly. People hate it when I use the word cowardice because everyone's like, oh, well, what about this? What about this? And it's like, well, cowardice doesn't mean that there's no potential fear or that there's no, no potential consequences. No, it means, it means that fear. those things can exist, but you do and say what is right. Yeah. You over, uh, courage is overcoming your, your natural it, fears. It, it, exactly. So I understand the conditions that have been created that have led to this chilling effect of people feeling like they can't speak out on certain things or they can't do or say what they believe to be right or correct or they can't even state certain objective facts. People won't even... Matt Walsh from Daily Wire made the whole movie going around asking people what is a woman. Everyone knows the answer. Every single person in that documentary knows the exact answer. They won't say it because ultimately they're cowards. That's what it. is really worrying is that the people in that, in that film that yes. you've talked about, it's the academics, the people mm -hmm. who are, if you like, educating up our young yes. who are most reluctant mm -hmm. to deal with reality. Yeah, and it's not, it's, and it's not, under, it's not hard to understand why. But it's because those conditions have been created. But how have those conditions been created? It's through cowardice. It's one of the reasons why I even became more outspoken. Because I've, I've had these conversations, anyone knows, who knows me privately, I've had these conversations with, with people for a very long time. Um, but in 2018 in particular, I was like, you know what? There, my voice is needed in some of these conversations. I didn't plan on being, okay, I want to be this warrior for free speech or liberty or anything like that but i was just like look this stuff is getting insane on multiple levels i don't like this narrative that narrative that narrative the race conversation the gender conversation the you know male female relationships conversation this 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 like the whole covid stuff i'm like look this is that one, that one latter one coming later down the line but i'm just like look not what needs to be said is not being said and people are afraid to say it and it's weird when you can tell when people know the truth or they know reality, but they won't say it because they're afraid of backlash or potentially offending someone out there in the ether or anything. And it, you know, what's the point of having, you know, if you don't have free speech, if you don't use your free speech, you lose your free speech. People have this idea of free speech just being something that's like a policy position right? Like, oh, we First Amendment in the USA, that's the freedom of speech. Freedom of speech isn't, it's, it's also social and cultural, right? What's the point of having so-called freedom of speech if you cannot use it 
It's there. That's why it's so like, important for minorities. Yes. If you really care about multiculturalism, if you really care about mm -hmm. minorities, you really care about the marginalized, yes. you'll defend free speech. You'll defend freedom of speech. And if you want to actually be able to understand the world and solve, and solve things, you have mm. to be able to speak. I mean, sometimes you'll be uncomfortable. Sometimes you won't. You'll hear something you don't like. You'll hear so every day we're confronted with things that we we don't like. We don't find comfortable. We may find offensive. We don't like, but it's you know my my reaction is not okay. We need to censor. We need to censor and ban and deplatform everybody who's aus aus espousing those ideas. It's like okay, well let's let's have a conversation. And as very well portrayed in that documentary, when you try to have the conversation and ask questions, you see why they rely on censorship. Yeah. You see right why they rely on deplatform because they yeah. don't have an argument. Yeah. You don't like it, the whole thing is shattered. If if I can shatter your whole ideology with one question, a basic one that my you know three four year old <laughs> niece could answer, then yeah. what what is your what's your whole belief system? What what are you standing on? So whilst whilst people are very very concerned with the way a lot of this stuff is going. I think it's very easily beatable. I think it's very easily beatable. I don't think this is some huge, yes, it's captured a lot of people, but it's captured far fewer people than I think people realize. Uh, uh, the, I, data the data tells you that. Yeah, it's, it's just that people will not speak up, yeah, but the yeah, number yeah. who are willing to is rising. Yeah. So I think yeah. that's positive.